And we're also seeing a rise in interest of 3D built homes. Joining me live is Ahmed Mahil, CEO of Luton 3D. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, you've launched the world's first largest 3D mobile AI powered printer. Hi, thank you, Jaina. Yeah. Uh, we call it the Platypus X12. Uh, it's the largest of its kind. Uh, it's, a, if you will, a self propelled uh, crane. Uh, that can change its size from one size to another. Uh, and that makes it feasible for different types of, uh, uh, if you will, uh, construction sites. All right, so with the drastic need for housing supply in Australia, could these 3D homes help solve the problem? Absolutely. Um, you see, with 3D printing, uh, we're talking here about precision construction. You can change what is done, especially uh, what is a house. Let's go to the fundamentals. Uh, it's a roof up above your head and walls. So we've shown how you can make walls uh, out of one material, the most resilient material out there, uh, which will increase, which will help in a couple of things. First of all, the time. Uh, it reduces the uh, reliance on unsustainable supply chain uh, but more importantly, the price, the price of the build can be uh, controlled to a large extent. And we see that's one of the reasons many of the bulk builders in Australia are racing to adopt this technology. So it gives uh, cheaper, yeah. No, no, I didn't mean to interrupt, so sorry about that. I was wondering if jobs <laughs> so are at sorry. risk with this technology. I don't think there are any jobs that are at risk here. Uh, if anything, we need more trades, tradesmen to do uh, jobs. There is an issue with supply. Uh, there is just less supply than uh, what we would need to have. And uh, it, it is, it is uh, an issue here that I think we will be solving the issue with the supply by providing a faster way to build, uh, a more accurate way to build, and then that will help uh, us to maybe utilize uh, whatever tradesmen out there right now in a more efficient manner. It would take time to be able to have enough uh, tradesmen for all the houses that needs to be built in Australia. Uh, so therefore, I don't see that as even relevant at this stage. Um, unless if we're doing maybe 3,000 printers a month, then yeah, there might be a discussion, but we are far away from that. At this stage, we are helping the industry uh, to reduce the amount of uh, people going under. If we can help them with that kind of economic uh, feasibility and the control of the costs for new builds, uh, addressing supply and the high rising cost, and to use the skills that are out there in a more uh, appropriate manner. How quickly can these homes be built? Um, it depends on the size of the and the footprint of the house. Uh, well, as we said, for, to build, uh, we believe 80% of the house can be done by the robot, uh, which is all the walls of the of the house, uh, inside, internal and external, uh, more robust walls, uh, where all the fittings and the for all the services can be, you know, cut out by the robot. You, you, the other trades when they come the jobs become easier. It's a plug and play. Um, when you have 80% done in three days, then you have a full functional house with a, a lot of uh, roofing systems that are out there. Um, you can have a functional house within a week. Now, this helps in addressing the issue of supply again. Uh, there are no need for the long waits. We have abundance of uh, this materials uh, around, and it's also, you know, uh, it's the most resilient material. So these houses that will be built by the, in this uh, manner, uh, they will have uh, just a long life cycle, uh, and uh, they will withstand more calamities, that they'll perform better in every sense compared to what we do now. All right, we do have to wrap it up. So in terms of sustainability, and uh, you mentioned they can, uh, uh, the materials can be used in extreme weather conditions. So uh, 
it does look like it's a, a promising thing and uh, we look forward to hearing more. Thank you so much, Ahmed Mahil, CEO of Lutian 3D.